we have uh, in orthodox science, conventional science and engineering, uh, the way that we look at and understand vibration. So when you go back and read Keeley's writings about vibration, they don't, they don't mesh. So it turns out that he had a completely fundamentally different understanding of what a vibration is than what modern science thinks they know of. Uh, the modern science uh, model came out of engineering in that they have fine-tuned and perfected a tool that helps them build amplifiers and radios and spaceships and everything else. It's a, a manipulated model that works for what they're doing, for what they're using it for, so it works. But if we go back to Keeley and say, well, Mr. Keeley, what were you doing with these vibrations? And, and, you know, how did you do this levitation? How did you do the water disassociation? And how did you do all these things? And he said, well, for, well, the vibration's not a sine wave. <laughs> it's a sine wave can pattern what's going on, but it doesn't tell you anything about why what's going on is what's going on. Amplitude, frequency, and time is what we work with today. On Keeley's model, there's a whole, there's a lot more parameters to deal with. If you really want to manipulate something vibratorily, you got to go to the cause of those polar interchanges or the waveform. What causes the positive phase and what causes the negative phase? You've got energy coming into a, in a, as a stream. It goes up and it goes down. If it was the same forces involved, if it was one force it would neither go up nor go down. There's something oscillating in that stream of force to cause it to first go up and then to go down. What is changing periodically? What is causing that periodic change? So that's the cause. That's the lever that moves the matter. So it's the nature of that disturbance that is subject to this book. And that's what Keeley got a hold of. He understood how to control that disturbance that causes the molecule to move. And vibration in his hands, in his paradigm, become very creative forces. We can create things with it because we understand the nature of it.